Ronald, three wins in a row. It's, uh, it's turned out to be quite some season already. No, it was important today. The first win at home, that's always uh, important because uh, we like the support of the fans and uh, the team did it very well. A great result today, 4-0. And uh, we ended the, the match, the game, on, on a fantastic way. About, uh, I think I heard more than 30 passes to keep the ball and to finish what, uh, what Morgan did. That was, uh, was no better way to finish the game uh, as we did today. It was a real dominant performance, wasn't it, from first minute up to the last? Yeah, at some parts in, in, in the game it was sometimes a little bit different because there was about uh, the score and, and about what they did. But we had a fantastic start, a very aggressive start and we spoke about that. And maybe that was the, the key to the result of today. When you have a two-week wait between matches, do you have to wonder whether you can re reproduce a performance like this having done so well at West Ham then to wait a fortnight and to go and do this? Yeah, it's always difficult, but... but the, the, the players know how we like to play and uh, everybody plays in, in his position. And if they are uh, very concentrated and if they bring the, the spirit and the aggressivity, what they, what they bring in, in, the, in the first 20 minutes, then it's difficult to beat us uh, at home. How important was that good start? Because you came out, you know, out of the trap so quickly, two early goals to, to settle everyone down. That's always important because if you realise uh, the situation of them, uh, okay, they, they left a little bit confidence and didn't win till, till today and that's always difficult for them and, and if you gave them the time to, 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 to hold the, the, the confidence and to start on a quiet way, then it will be difficult. And we spoke about it to say, okay, we know the situation of them, we have the confidence, we go for it from the beginning play high tempo, uh, press them in a high uh, way, and, and OK, and, and we did it and we scored two goals. Graziano Pella's emotions after this home game compared to the last home game must be completely different. He was a slightly frustrated figure after that West Brom game, but now he's on top of the world, surely? Yeah, the West Bromwich game, is, it's, it's difficult for strikers. There wasn't uh, space to, to attack, and, and, and now... We, we knew against Newcastle we will get more space to play and, uh, and that's much better for him. And he shows equalities, he scored two times and uh, he had a great performance today. And Jack Cork, after waiting nearly three years for his first goal, has got two <laughs> in three games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know uh, what the reason is that he now scored, but, but he, did, he did it fantastic today and he was always even in, in, in a difficult situation for him in the beginning when he didn't start. He was always a uh, good professional, he was always competitive to the rest of the players and uh, oh, that, that's important and he showed that uh, how we have to work uh, with the team. As you've been pointed at the start, it was a real celebratory mood, wasn't it, in the stadium? The fans were really behind your team and it seems like something special was coming here. Yeah, everything, everything was okay today. It was uh, a full stadium, uh, nice weather, great result. And, uh, it was uh, very enjoyable today. And last of all, a word for Francis Benali, uh, a Saints legend, a thousand miles in, in 21 days, something incredible. That was fantastic to see him coming into the stadium at halftime. Yes, of course, because that, that's another kind of sport for a good charity. And uh, I, I, I admire that kind of people who are doing that and uh, great support for him.